Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I'm doing like a woodland green and brown, you know, kind of rustic kind of makeup today. I'm just using tape because I want this to be a little bit crisper and I'm going in, I think that's a Morphe palette and I'm using browns and greens from a whole bunch of palettes that I have and I'm just doing a whole bunch of light browns and I'm going to transition to a darker brown as I go down and then I'll also be uh, adding some green. just deepening up that outer V right now with slightly I think is that the green now I think that's the darker green shade and I just kind of want this to be muted I don't like warm greens I like more of that black kind of green shade and I'm just putting a light green in my inner corner and then I'm gonna be putting some gold colors I'm using like three different gold colors um, on my lid and it's gonna be wicked pretty I'm just going in with some concealer, just kind of going to create like a, you know, like a cut crease type of thing, not the whole lid, I'm just putting some, I just want cream color so that way the gold stand out a little bit better, because putting gold over the top of the dark green won't look the best, I want it to be over, e even white, even if you have white, that looks perfectly fine. shimmery shade right over I guess what you would call like the wing of my eye right there I want it to be a little bit shimmery and like a brownish color and then I'm just taking a light yellow shade and just buffing out the edges of all that just to make it a little uh, softer Here I'm adding a little bit of a silver shade that's in that sultry palette just to the very center. I like a really really bright white or silver right in the center of my eye with all eye looks. I think you guys will notice that I do that. I don't know. I think it, I think it looks pretty. Hey, do you be yourself? And then I'm taking off the wing. You see how like sharp and crispy that looks. And then I'm just putting some concealer underneath my eyes. Uh, to kind of sharpen everything up. using my infallible uh, foundation I okay hands down this is probably absolutely my favorite one so many youtubers don't use it anymore because apparently they test on animals or whatever I know not whatever I like animals too 
But I really, really like this. This is by far the nicest looking, the most natural looking, and it doesn't cling to like your skin imperfections. Uh, usually every foundation that I try to use, it clings to my nose area because that's where I'm usually the dry skin and it always like creates that weird, oh, like crusty thing. This foundation is the first one I've ever found that does not do that. So yay. stuff. I'm putting it over like my cheek area where I like to be a little glowier. I don't like the look of like an all matte type thing. I don't like dry looking. I always like a little bit of shimmer. Uh, so I find this stuff is good. You can use it under makeup, over makeup, whatever you please. So I'm putting it on but then as you'll see I'm going to be adding a makeup forever uh, like a powder because I didn't, I wanted the red to go away, so I wanted a little bit more perfect looking skin. So I shouldn't have done the Lumi stuff. And there we go. And I'm gonna have to add back in the Lumi Glotion afterwards. Just uh, brushing up my uh, eyebrows and I'm gonna be doing uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, dip brow and then I'm gonna finish that off because this stuff is really really crusty it's I need a new one because I like this shade better than the other shade I bought because I prefer cool tones so I'm having kind of a hard time with it but you get the point and then I'm gonna finish it off with the, um, the, the stick thing there I've, I really really like this one this is in the correct shade I like this shade palette right underneath my uh, brow bone. You can use this. I have to use it sparingly because gold does not go well with my skin, uh, which is why I don't usually like to use these colors. And then I'm going in with a dark brown shade underneath the eye and then I'm going to be finishing off with I think that green color I'm going to use to buff it out.
pretty pretty and then I'm going in with like a flat definer brush just to like tight line kind of thing right underneath with black I just want it to be a little bit more defined right there uh, you can skip this step if you please you don't have to do it I just want a little bit more definition and then I'm adding in some uh, like the glue stuff I'm gonna be putting in uh -huh, those little gems a couple of gold ones and I got that picker upper thing from Amazon it has like a wax tip so you can apply things so much easier oh my god you guys it's so much nicer if you like to use gems highly recommend it Amazon it was like seven bucks for two of them bronzer stuff any color will do I think I'm using that that coconut scented one whichever one that is everybody uses it, it smells like coconut it's fantastic and I'm going a little bit heavier than what I normally do because I want this to be a more of like a you know like a sexy look type thing so you really want to accentuate those cheekbones and do an up on the forehead pretty pretty <laughs> And then I'm going right underneath the lip. I just like adding a little bit of a shadow right there. I think it looks really pretty. And then up around my nose. I'm contouring my nose. I don't always do this, but sometimes for a more, you know, that kind of a look, I like to do the nose. Just a little bit of bronzer all the way up the nose and onto the bridge, you know, where I just did. Super pretty, just adds a little definition. And too, because I have kind of a wider nose, it just kind of swims it out just a little. And then I'm using some BH Cosmetics lipstick. It's supposed to be like a nude color, but I wouldn't call that nude. But I think either way, it does go very well with this look. It's super pretty. And then I'm going in with those new um, eyelash lashes, lashes that I got. I think they're super pretty. They're so extreme. But I think for this look, ooh, it's super pretty. Um, like I say, if you're new to eyelashes, these aren't the ones that you want to start with. Um, it takes, there's a learning curve with all different types of lashes. I say if you're a beginner, I would definitely go with Ardell, like Demi Wispies or stuff like that. It's definitely the easier ones to use. These are a little bit more advanced. Um, and then when you go into the really, really thick band ones, that's, you know, there's a learning curve, but you can get there. These, these are doable. Have faith. And then I'm just highlighting with my Jaclyn uh, Cosmetics the yellowy, yellowier shades that's in that palette. Uh, super pretty because yellow and then with the gold and the browns, I thought it looked really pretty. I want to be super shiny here. I think it's really pretty. It's like a woodland, you know, type thing. And I was inspired by like the, uh, what's her name? It came out with her palette. Oh, pretty. Um, so just real fast, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Remember to leave a like, uh, share this, comment down below, and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff. Thanks, guys.